Nice one. The time has finally come. Bass season has opened. We're out on the water. We're gonna go try to catch some fish, so stay tuned. There you go. Of course, it's a rock bass. It's not the best way to start the bass fishing season. Yeah. Not the species I was looking for, but it's still fish. Alright, so I caught that fish on a drop shot with the... Uh, Northland Impulse smelt that I got in my simple fishing box. There's rock bass everywhere. The rock bass. There's fish jumping over there. Nice one. I really hope that's a fish, not a ro Oh, sh Yeah, it's a nice fish. Okay. Get the net. Or not, I'll just bring it. In the whole boat. Oh, okay. Okay. He won't come up. Oh, you think it's a net? Get the net! Get the net! You think it's a net? Oh my god, dude! Oh my gosh! Wait for it to come up. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah! Go, go, go! Yes! Oh my god, look at that fish! Holy, Holy okay. Let's get my. No, let me get my scale out. Guys, look at this fish. Oh my gosh. He devoured that shadow bait. Look at that fish. Oh, actually shaking. I can't see that at him. Five seven. Five eight, five seven. Oh my gosh, guys. Five pounds. that fish guys. It's my PV largemouth. First day out, bass season opens. Five pounds, seven ounces. It's getting back in the water. Guys, that was my PV largemouth bass season opener. First fishing video, bass fishing video on YouTube. Let's go. All right, guys, so that last fish is my PV largemouth. Super excited. Um, we were fishing about uh, 10 to 15 feet of water, and the grass, there was a, it was pretty thick grass, which tells me that the fish are situated in grass in 10 to 15 feet of water, which would make sense since they just finished spawning and they're in the transition to a deeper water for the summer. So uh, I caught that fish on... I got a follower. Oh wow. I caught that fish on this Z-Man chatterbait in a perch kind of color. I don't know what the color is, but it reminds me of a perch, so... The way it sounds. So uh, we'll keep on throwing it around and see what else we can get. See, the funny thing is that chatterbaits are supposed to be weedless, yet every time I pull this chatterbait out from the water, I have weeds on it. Probably because it's so thick here.
like I was saying, every single time. We're in the other bay already. Oh, fish. Please don't tell me it's a rock bass. How do these little suckers eat everything? I really do not like rock bass. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, I think I'm fine. Now it's big. Ooh! It's feisty. Come here. Ah, still a nice fish. Smallmouth. Yeah, I was ready for my first smallmouth. Okay. Nice fish, guys. Let's get this guy back in the water. There he goes. There you go. Oh my gosh. We're right at the weed edge. I saw him take it. Uh, decent size. Is he hooked? Good. He's hooked good. Nice one. Oh, I don't want to snap my rod. Nice largemouth bass. Uh, hooked him pretty well. Nathan's sleeping over there. Nice large mouth though. Probably pound, pound and a half. It's pretty pretty nice belly on him. Let's get him back into the water. <laughs> awesome. Got a pretty good day out. We didn't get much bass or many bass, but we got the quality. I broke my PB largemouth bass. Um the one before was like three pounds something. This one was five seven. Very proud of that. Uh, pretty good bass for up north, up here in Ontario. So I'm very happy with that. Caught a nice smallie. Unfortunately, we got a lot of rock bass. I really don't like rock bass, but that's okay. Um, we were an engine down because the engine has to be fixed, and we were one rod down, one bait caster down because the reel is having issues. Um, in midday, of course, the I hope you guys can see this. The eye, the eye, uh, the eye at the top of my uh, drop shotting rod broke, so I couldn't really drop shot without retying my other spinning reel. So it was just all hassle. We caught most of the fish on chatterbait. One of them on the drop shot before the rod was out. So I was using. Z-Man Chatterbait in like a perch color with just the Z-Man trailer, green pumpkin. Uh, 3 8 ounce. It was rising a lot. I should have put a half ounce on, but I didn't. And I was throwing Gosh Metal Cellus, uh, medium, 7 foot medium heavy, uh, fast action with a Daiwa Tatula. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a like down below if you did. Comment if you have any questions and see you guys in the next video.